Welcome to day five of raising my manifesting vibration to get what I want. And I invite you to review my introductory video as well as days one, two, three, and four if you haven't already so that you can get on the same page and be in the loop. So things that I reference from past days, you have an idea of what I'm talking about. So today, I didn't do a whole lot of reading within the manual, but I did a whole lot of applying. And one of the biggest things for me has been the gremlin that I talked about on day ooh, two or three. Somebody watch one of those and let me know exactly which day it is. It just feels like it's been a part of my life for so long now that it seems like it's been more than just a couple of days. So my gremlin, and I just, it's so funny to me how I'm really just visualizing things as if they're actually there and it's, it's different for everybody. What works for you or what works for me isn't going to work for you and vice versa. It may not, it may. Maybe it'll spark some ideas for you. Well, I had a Google Hangout with the other women in this group that are doing this um, challenge with me and I said to them that my gremlin started out really ugly and really vocal and my gremlin is my all of my anything negative that I think that I think it's not actually me it's doubting Darla that's what I named my gremlin who wants to say nothing but negative and mean things in my ear. And, it, you know, I used to think that that was me thinking that and I find out that it's really not. So, what has been happening, even just, oh, excuse me, it is late. And I wanted to make sure I got this video out, so I apologize for the yawns. But what has been happening is that this gremlin has been getting prettier as I've been addressing her, but there have also been the invasions, because that's what I feel like it is. The invasions have been so severe from her that it's more of my power. It, it takes me by surprise sometimes because I'm not expecting it. You know, just mean judgmental things either about you know, about me, what I'm capable of doing, or even sometimes about other people, though that's lessened a lot. You know, I'm not judging people nearly as often, and I found that not judging other people has made it easier for me to accept myself. Um, I'll get to that in a second. But this gremlin, so the more that I'm able to overcome what she's trying to tell me, the prettier she gets. Ooh, <sighs> prettier she gets. And not that she's all that pretty. I'm talking like maybe she gets a tuft of hair where she had none. Little bit by little bit, but the bigger the occurrences and the bigger the occurrences I stave off, the, you know, her process becomes, it quickens, which is really neat because I know that once I'm able to get her to basically be a mirror image of me, then I know that that step is complete and it's happening really quickly um, but you know we grow up and we are told these things like you know the golden rule do unto others as they would do unto you or you know oh well he, you know that little boy is only being mean to you because he you know he likes you or bullies are only bullies because they're getting bullied and they have to let it out. Well, regardless of the degree, most of us are judgmental. I can't even say most of us. Every judgmental thought, say, words out of your mouth are because that is something that you're insecure about with yourself. If you are focused on how fat you feel, you're going to notice fat people a lot more than you would if weight wasn't necessarily an issue. You know, or if you're worried about what your hair looks like, you're going to notice that in other people and you're going to have more judgment on that than you would if it wasn't a factor for yourself. 
Whew. All right, I guess I need to cut this video short here because I don't want to keep yawning throughout it. But, you know, it's just, it's so amazing. I'm so thankful that I am not as judgmental as I, as I have been my entire life. And I know that one day soon that it just it won't even be an issue at all. And I'm looking forward to that day, but I'm enjoying what's happening right now. And just some quick manifesting things that happened today. Um, there hasn't been anything super significant. Um, the one thing that was really cool that happened is across the street from my new salon is a little thrift store and they were having a 50% off sale and I wasn't even going to head over there but one of the guys at the salon said something about them having a sale so I go and check it out and I got me a whole new outfit for four bucks a, a shirt and a skirt super cute and um you know so it's the little wins it's the little victories it's the little things that brighten your day and you can't take those for granted and when you can really live in the now and really appreciate what is around you now and not focus so much on what could be coming or what you're lacking things become a lot brighter so I'll end it here for day five stay tuned tomorrow for day six and we'll see what kind of manifesting that we can do between now and then alright see you tomorrow